Hi everyone, I'm the Senior Tech and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step procedure on how to replace the timing belt on a Ford 1.0-liter EcoBoost engine. As you can see, the engine is partly stripped as I'm rebuilding it, and it is time to fit a new timing belt. These engines require to use of a few special tools. I will list them in the description below. So the first thing I need to do is set piston cylinder 1 at the TDC. To do that, I am using a locking pin that stops a crankshaft counterweight at the right position. In the next step, I need to lock the camshafts. Firstly, setting them up with a straight bar and next locking with a special tool. Make sure the special tool is only finger tightened to the cylinder head at this stage, as otherwise you will damage the tool. When everything is nice and square, use the Allen key to lock the special tool lever against the camshaft and torque up to the cylinder head. Repeat this process for the other camshaft. In the next step, I'm fitting a new timing belt tensioner and torquing it up to 26 Newton meters. Now I'm ready to fit a new timing belt. Once the belt is fitted correctly, remove the tensioner locking pin. Using old front engine cover bolts, I have prepared pin guides to help me install the cover in the perfect position in one shot. Now I'm applying silicon sealer and fitting a new coolant seal. Look how easy it is to install a front engine cover with these guides. When the engine is in the car and doing this in the situ, you need to do it with a slightly different technique. Now torque up all bolts according to the specification in the description. Time to fit the oil sump now. Applying silicon sealer and installing it to the cylinder block. Moving on, I'm fitting a new front crankshaft oil seal using special tools 303, 1603, and 303 with 1636. Now it is time to do the most tricky part of this job, torquing up a front crankshaft pulley. Firstly, fitting torquey converter adapters to the block. Before you put the front crank pulley in place, do not forget to use a new friction washer. I always put some bearing grease between the center crank bolt head and a washer to reduce friction. Fit the crankshaft front pulley and pin it up at the right position. Torque A up according to the specifications in the description below. It is time to use a torque multiplier now with a 5 to 1 gear ratio. While I'm following the steps, I check the alignment pin to be sure the pulley is not moving otherwise need to start the procedure again. Once the center crank bolt is torqued up, remove all special tools and rotate the crankshaft a few revolutions. Recheck piston cylinder one at the TDC using a locking pin at the back of the block Pin the front pulley and check the camshaft's position. If everything is lining up nicely, we can be sure the engine will run correctly. If you ignore small discrepancies, you may experience the engine misfire problems. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. If you do like this video, leave a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.